Good morning, Cockneyville. I'm Annabella. It's Thursday, September 10th. Today is the D-Day. The Black House of Determination will display determination and grit. Students, the Media Center is open to students during break for the purpose of checking out books. Come by and check something out. Progress reports will go home today for Gold students. The parents of virtual students will receive their students' progress report by email. And Green Day students received their progress reports yesterday. Our students are selling green and gold tie-dye masks to help support our school yearbook. They will be available at break for $3. The Miss Copperfield pageant will be held on Saturday, September 19th at 2 p.m. at the EHS PAC. Come watch as our current Miss Copperfield, Scarlet Gates, crowns her successor. Tickets are $5 for adults and $3 for students. Proceeds will benefit the CJHS Science Department and cheerleaders. Parents, we are offering 20-minute Schoology tutorial sessions at CJHS for you and your students. To schedule an appointment, go to our school website, click on Latest News, and complete the form. All school meals, breakfast, lunch, and after-school meals are now offered to all students at no charge. This will be in effect now through Christmas break. We have Copperfield t-shirts for sale in the front office for $10 each. See you, Ms. Rutherford. I'm Sophie. Today for lunch, we are having crispy chicken sandwiches, french fries, garden salad, fresh fruit, grab-and-go boxes, and your choice milk. On Monday for lunch, we are having beef and bean burritos, mixed vegetables, sweet potato fries, fresh fruit, grab-and-go boxes, and your choice milk. After school today, we will have hot dogs, peanut butter sandwiches, fresh veggies with ranch, and fresh fruit. I'm Brooke with the Eagles of the Week sports feature. Our football Eagle of the Week is Carson Zuber. Carson is an 8th grader who plays tight end on offense. He shows up every day and works hard on the field and in the classroom. He is doing an outstanding job at tight end this year. Carson came from CJHS from Hillcrest Elementary, and in his free time, he likes to fish and play football. Carson's plans for the future include continuing to play football in the high school, then attending college and serving in the military. We wish Carson the best of luck as the Eagles take on Eufaula at Bates Memorial Stadium tonight. Go Eagles! Our Volleyball Eagle of the Week is 7th grader Addison Fratino. She was chosen for her hard work and good attitude both in the classroom and on the court. This is her first year playing volleyball and she plays setter and back for the Eagles. Addison came to CJHS from Heron Creek Elementary. In her free time, she likes to practice volleyball, play video games, and swim. Addison's future career is to become an engineer. Best of luck, Addison, in your upcoming match against D.A. Smith on Monday. Go Eagles! I'm Hannah with the rest of our sports news. Today, CJHS Volleyball will host Providence in Geneva for a tri meet beginning at 4 p.m. in the gym. Seating will be at 40%. Capacity with social distancing and face coverings required. Tonight, CJHS football will host Eufaula at Bates Memorial Stadium beginning at 5 p.m. Remember that face coverings are required at all school activities. Tryouts for the EHS wrestling team are Tuesday, September 15th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Wednesday, September 16th from 3.30 to 5 p.m. And Thursday, September 17th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. in the EHS gym. Please email Coach Pipkins by September 14 if you are interested or have any questions. There is a flyer in the front office window. Go Eagles! I'm Annabella with the Beta Club announcements. If you are planning to run for Beta office this year, President, Vice President, Secretary, Chaplain, or 7th grade reporter, sign up in the Media Center and pick up your two teacher recommendation forms. You will be contacted to record your short campaign speech next week. Good morning, Cockerville. This is Sophie with a few words of wisdom from famous Lebanese poet Khalil Jabon. You give but little when you give of your possessions. It is when you give of yourself that you truly give. Jabon isn't telling us to stop donating our old clothes to charity or can go to a food drive. These things are important. He's saying that the highest form of giving is when we give our time, talent, and energy to those in need and we are all capable of giving something. We can tutor a younger student, help an elderly neighbor, or do an extra chore at home. We can give time to someone who is lonely, or smile to someone who is sad. According to Jablon, this is the highest form of giving. Today, be generous and share it yourself with others. With something to think about, this is Sophie. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. I'm Brooke with the birthdays. Today we have Timothy Jansen. Happy birthday! Please stop by the office after the news for a small birthday gift. I'm Annabella. Today's the D-Day, so let's display determination and grit. Remember, at Coppinville, we have Eagle Pride. 